Good morning, boys and girls. Mrs. White and I are so happy to have another circle time with everybody. It is cold outside. It's the middle of May and it's like 35 degrees outside. So we're recording in my kitchen. Um, I'd rather be outside, but it's just too cold. I, I couldn't handle it. So um, we're still talking about reducing, reusing, and recycling. And um, one of the ways I like to reuse things and to reduce waste is to use my reusable bags. So when Mrs. Calhoun and I go grocery shopping, instead of getting these bags when we check out, um, we bring our own bags and we can we can reuse them every week when we go shopping and they have handles you can carry. And this one says, I am a teacher. So in case I ever forget, like if I'm walking around and somebody asks me, hey, Mr. Calhoun, what's your job? I can look at my bag and remind myself that I'm a teacher. So um, that's always helpful. So got this. And this is something we're going to see in our story today, The uh, Adventures of Gary and Harry, that um, why we really want to be careful and try not to use these reusable bags when we can avoid it. Or if we get them, you can normally take them back to the store and they can recycle them. So anywho, we use, I try to use my reusable bags anytime I can. All right. Let's stand up for our song. All right, boys and girls, we are taking requests all this week for our songs. And one of the requests we got was people miss doing fast dance, slow dance, freeze dance. So when I play fast, you're going to dance fast. If I play slow, you are going to dance slow. And if I stop, freeze and you're gonna freeze in a nice pose you gotta you gotta strike some sort of cool pose when you freeze so if I play fast you go fast if I play, play slow you go slow and if I stop you freeze are we ready all right here we go oh and be careful when you're dancing around the room be, control your body don't run into people don't knock things over all right here we go Some nice freezing. All right, here we go. Oh, good freezing. All right, here we go. Now, this time I'm going to start really, really fast. Are you ready? Oh, I tried to trick you. And now, like we do every day, it's time for our Purple Binder, our Hegarty Phonemic Awareness Lesson. And why do we do our Purple Binder every day, boys and girls? Absolutely. So we can learn how to read. That's right. So we're going to start off with some letters and sounds. And we'll do these together. Here we go. The letter is M. The sound is M. Mm. The letter is W, the sound is W. Ooh, these letters can be tricky sometimes because they look almost the same, just one's like looks like it's upside down. So yeah, these letters can be tricky. So this is the W. The letter is V, the sound is V. The letter is L, the sound is L. The letter is K, the sound is K. And the 
letter is D. The sound is D. Nice job with our letters and sounds today. All right, now we're going to move on to rhyming words. All right, I'm going to say two words. You're going to say the same two words. If they rhyme, you're going to give me a big old thumbs up. If they don't rhyme, you're going to give me thumbs down. All right, my turn first. Goose loose. That's right, thumbs up. They rhyme. And is. No, those do not rhyme. Brush rush. Nice work. Those are rhyming words. Wet stood. Nope, we're not rhyming there. Share eight. Ooh, no, those don't rhyme either. Now take those thumbs, put them back up, and point to the smartest kid you know. Great job on our rhyming words. Log was working hard, and llama, and bowling ball, Eeyore, and dog, and our good friend Wombat, which I uh, got his name right today, and I apologize for getting your name wrong, Wombat, but we fixed it, and we're all okay now. All right. Oh, it's time for our beginning sounds now. So, we're going to punch out our beginning sounds. I'll go first, and then it's your turn. Ah, ah, olive. Ah, ah, octopus. Ah, ah, October. Ah, ah, oxen. And ah, ah, omelet. Nice job on those beginning sounds. Now we are going to blend some sounds together. So we're going to make each sound and blend them together to make a word. So I'll go first and then it's your turn. B-U-G bug. P-U-P pup. H-U-G hug. B-U-G bun n a ch nut nice job blending those sounds together to make a word all right now we're going to do our ending sound so we're going to say the word reach across it and punch up to make that last sound i'll go first then it's your turn fill uh. Wade D. Miss S. Twig G. Spoon M. Mm. Good work on those final sounds and punching out that last sound of the word. Now, we're going to say the word fast and then slow it down and say each sound. All right. Here we go. Did, d, i, d. All right. My turn now. Zip, z, i, p. Hit it. Wig w -ig. Him -m. Very good segmenting those phonemes to make each sound out of the word. Now, we're going to add a phoneme to the beginning to make a word. So, everybody say, ug. That's a fun sound. Let's do that again. Everybody say, ug. 
if we add b to the beginning, we have bug. Everybody say up. If we add p to the beginning, we have pup. Everybody say ug. If we add h to the beginning, we have hug. Everybody say un. If we add b to the beginning, we have bun. And everybody say ut. If we add n to the beginning, we have nut. Great job adding those sounds to the beginning. Now we're going to take that sound away. Everybody say cat. If we take away the k, we're left with at. Everybody say man. If we take away the m, we're left with an. Everybody say tag. If we take away the t, we're left with ag. Everybody say van. If we take away the v, we're left with an. And everybody say nap. If we take away the n, we're left with app. Great job. Now we're going to make some rhyming words by changing that beginning sound. So everybody say neck. If we change the n to a p, we have peck. Everybody say peck. If we change the p to a d, we have Deck. Everybody say deck. If we change the d to a r, we have wreck. Everybody say wreck. If we change the r to a ch, we have check. And everybody say check. If we change the ch, to a n, we have neck. Great job on changing those uh, beginning sounds. Now, here is our nursery rhyme. And this is called Hey Diddle Diddle. And I'll say it. I'll go through it one time and then we'll do it together, okay? Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such a sight. And the dish ran away with the spoon. Do you think you can do that with me? All right, let's try it one time kind of slow together. Hey, diddle, diddle. The cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such a sight, and the dish ran away with the spoon. All right, great job on our phonemic awareness lesson and our nursery rhyme. It is time for our Mighty Minute, and our Mighty Minute today is called, Oh Dear, What Could the Matter Be? So what we're going to do is we're going to say this a couple times. It's a little song. We're going to go, Oh dear, what could the matter be? Oh dear, what could the matter be? Oh dear, what could the matter be? And then we're going to go, everyone thinks they are, and we're going to pretend we're a different animal. So let's do, let's get an idea for the first one. Um... Oh, somebody said cat. Okay, so when we get to the end, we're going to pretend like we're cats and make cat noises, okay? All right, here we go. Oh, dear, what can the matter be? Dear, dear, what can the matter be? Oh, dear, what can the matter be? Everyone thinks they are cats. Meow, 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 meow. Nice job. All right. Let's think.
think of another animal. Hmm. Okay, a dog, but what kind of dog? Oh, like a little itty bitty chihuahua type tiny dog. Okay, so we're gonna pretend we are tiny dogs now. Okay. Oh dear, what could the matter be? Oh dear, what can the matter be? Oh dear, what can the matter be? Everyone thinks they are little yippy dogs. Pork, 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 pork. Yippee, yip, yip, yip. Ah, 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 pork, pork, pork. Oh, that was fun. All right, now. Oh. Let's do another one. Oh, a different kind of dog? Oh, a big mean dog? Okay, let's be a big mean woofer here. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Oh dear, what can the matter be? Oh dear, what can the matter be? Oh dear, what can the matter be? Everyone thinks they are big old dogs. <laughs> fantastic. Oh, what a great mighty minute. Oh, and, and you can do that at home with whatever animal you want. Oh, that's so much fun. All right. Oh, remember from our, our sharing this morning, we talked about plastic bags and these play an important part in our story today. The Adventures of Gary and Harry. Our story today is written by Lisa Matsumoto. So she is the author and illustrated by Michael Furua. He did the picture, so he is the illustrator. All right. Deep in the sparkling sea, Gary the green sea turtle and his best friend Harry the hawksbill turtle played in their ocean home. Each day they would swim to the surface and happily dive beneath the waters, or beneath the waves. Gary and Harry loved their carefree life in the sea and liked to visit their many ocean friends like Olivia the octopus, Lori the lobster, and even Herman the grumpy old hermit crab, who was really nothing but a softy under his crusty old shell. For Gary and Harry, each day was a great underwater adventure. Some days they would explore deep into the dark underwater caverns. Other days they would search for long lost treasures buried deep in the hulls of old sunken ships. When they wanted a good laugh, they would visit the crazy clownfishes who performed in Harold Harlequin Shrimp's Spectacular Sea Circus. One day after their morning adventure, Gary and Harry were especially hungry. As always, it was difficult deciding what to have for lunch since they had very different tastes in food. How about a salty seaweed salad made of fresh algae, Gary suggested. Algae, yuck! Harry replied, making a face. I'd rather have a nice, tasty jellyfish. His wish had been answered, for suddenly a school of jellyfish floated by. Wow, look at all those jellyfish! Harry quickly swam up to the largest one and swallowed it. Gary expected to hear a satisfied, ah. But instead, Harry responded with a terrified, ah! Harry was grasping and choking. That was no jellyfish he swallowed. It was a plastic bag. Let me go back. Look how the plastic bag kind of looks sort of like a jellyfish, like the jellyfish in the pictures. Harry knew many sea turtles had died from choking on plastic bags, but he never once thought it would happen to him. Harry desperately tried everything to remove the plastic bag, but it just wouldn't come out. His life flashed before him. Luckily, Gary had just completed his turtle safety class, and by using the Heimlich maneuver, the plastic bag flew right out from Gary's throat. Whew, that was close, said Harry while catching his breath. How did a plastic bag get in the ocean anyway? How else, Gary answered, the humans. 
Well, they need to be more careful to keep their trash out of our homes, Harry said angrily, and Gary couldn't agree with him more. Suddenly, Harry's stomach rumbled. All the excitement had worked up his appetite. Well, I'm starving, he told Gary. Let's get lunch. Then a beautiful jellyfish floated by. Look, Harry, just what you asked for, lunch. After what Harry had been through, suddenly jellyfish didn't seem very appealing. Maybe I'll try one of those salty seaweed salads. Gary's face quickly lit up. Well, I know the perfect place to go, he said excitedly. And with a flick of their flippers, they quickly dove through the crystal blue water, eager to enjoy a nice, delicious, relaxing lunch. The end. What a nice story about Gary and Harry. I'm glad it turned out okay in the end, but a lot of turtles do die because they think these plastic bags look like jellyfish. So we always have to be real careful to, to throw our stuff away properly. And that's why a lot of people like using the reusable bags when they can. Right now we're not allowed to at the grocery store until things calm down a little bit. But what a great story time. What a great circle time we've had today. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Mrs. White and I are so glad you joined us. Uh, take care of each other. Uh, be nice to your friends and your family and your parents. And uh, we hope to see you again real soon. Bye-bye.